Hello there, I'm artist Aaron Rutten and welcome to another episode of my digital artist vlog. In this episode, I'm going to talk about organizing your thoughts and ideas for artwork. That could include projects that you're working on, ideas for new paintings, inspiration that you found online. And really the best way to do that is to take it out of your head and put it down somewhere else because at least for me personally as an artist, if I have too many projects and too many ideas floating around in my head and I have to constantly juggle them and think about them all at once and worry about forgetting some of them, it really stresses me out. And it's easier just to write stuff down and then come back to it later when you're ready to work on it. That way, what you need to work on right now can be focused on rather than having to compete with all the other stuff in your mind. So I found for me the best way to do this is to not necessarily write something down on paper because then I just end up with all these pieces of paper that just get lost. I like to make use of my computer to keep track of all this stuff. So I'm going to show you three different programs that I use all the time to help me keep track of things. So first and foremost is Google Calendar. Google Calendar will sync up on your phone and on your computer, so that's nice. If I enter something on my phone here into my calendar, then it syncs up online and if I go home to my computer and look at my calendar on my computer it's the same calendar. What's nice is that you can take things and move them around. So today for instance I have this list of things that I plan to do. Let's say that for some reason I don't get all this stuff done. I'm going to move Nebula course over to Friday. Maybe I'll work on it that day. So you'll see I have some different kinds of things here. I have these blue things that are common holidays. I have gray things which are timed events like for instance if I have a meeting at one o'clock then that'll be a gray thing and it'll show what time it is. I have some orange things which are just to-do list tasks so these are things that maybe I have to get done on a certain day or maybe I don't and then I can just kind of move them around and it's this fluid schedule that really works for me because I can give myself deadlines and say okay this has to be done this day or I can just have things that can just float around and I'll stack them up on a Thursday and if I don't get to everything on that Thursday then I'll move some of it to Friday and just redistribute it out through the week and for me that works really well because then all the things that I want to work on are still there but I don't necessarily have to work on them one particular day. So obviously some stuff here is kind of blurred out because I can't show you all the stuff that's on my calendar because some of it's secret and private so you'll have to bear with me on that but you can see a lot of kind of what I'm working on and what I have planned this next week coming up is almost always packed full of stuff and then I get to that week and I end up spreading stuff out. So there's a lot of stuff that ends up moving down and down and down and down and eventually does get done. But for me it's nice to have a list because some days there might be things that I'm supposed to do but I don't feel like doing and so it's nice to have at least, you know, if I'm going to procrastinate to have some other task that I can do that's maybe something that I want to do more. Or if it's a day where I have nothing to do then I have a whole list of things that I should be doing rather than absolutely nothing. So that's kind of how I keep track of my time. Now as far as keeping track of ideas, like ideas for videos or ideas for art, things like that, I like to use Evernote. So this is Evernote. It's kind of like a note-taking program. You can type in notes, you can even import notes that are already existing on your computer and just drag them and drop them in. You can add images and all kinds of cool stuff. This is just kind of a way to Kind of consolidate all your notes because on my computer before Evernote I would have all these different note files which you know if I organized them in folders and things like that I could kind of keep track of what was going on but it's harder to get to those things and those digital files would get lost just like a piece of paper with notes on it would so Evernote is kind of a nice easy convenient way to have all your notes together sort them and then be able to access them just like that you can access them online or offline just like Google Calendar, it syncs up with your phone, so if I add a note while I'm out you know, somewhere not by my computer on my phone, then it syncs up with Evernote, and when I get home to my computer, that same note is there. So that's really handy. I use this all the time for just writing down ideas for videos. If I think of something to draw, like a particular subject, I'll jot it down on Evernote. If I think of an idea for a piece of art or a new project or really just anything that I want to take out of my head and put down, I'm using Evernote for that. I'll even use it for, let's say, when I'm building my videos, if I have annotations that I use commonly, like the end cards on my videos, they have specific videos that are Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday and so on. I have the annotations for those in Evernote, that way I can just select it, copy and paste it in. It makes it really easy for things like that too. Now the third thing that I want to talk about is Pinterest, and 
I don't use Pinterest a whole lot. I kind of just, in a way, use it to organize and reshare my videos from YouTube. But a lot of people, specifically a couple people I know, Mike Meth and Lawrence Mann, kind of turned me on to this idea of using it to kind of accumulate ideas for artwork or inspiration or reference images because between those two guys they have a ton of stuff saved. They have different references of people's faces and different animals and different creatures and textures and it's really just a way kind of like how I used Evernote to collect my thoughts and my notes. This is a way to collect images and inspiration and then group it together in categories. You can have all your inspiration for textures or all your inspiration for animals and so on. So I don't have that exhibited here because this is all just categories of digital art tutorials, but you could imagine this could be really anything. These are just collections of images or websites or you know pretty much anything you can pin through Pinterest, but it's usually visually based. So let's say I want to pin my website. If you have a pin plugin installed or there's a pin button on the website, something that says Pinterest, you can click on that. It might also say pin it or you can just select the address of the image or the website that you want to pin. So I'm going to select that and copy it with control C. I'm going to go back over to Pinterest. And if you want to, you can create a board. That's like a folder or a category to group similar things together. I'm going to call it website and it is about art. I'm going to create the board first and then you'll see down here there's add a pen. I'm going to click on that. You can add a pen from the web or from your device. That would be your computer or your phone. I'm just going to paste the link here. Click on next. So now what it's going to do is it's going to hunt around that page for an image to select because it's kind of more or less image based. So on this particular page there's only a few images. I think I'll just pick this digital art tutorial one and click on the pin button. If you were pinning an image you would want to cycle through and find that particular image that you want to pin. And if you want to post it to Twitter you can. I'm going to uncheck because I don't want to post this to Twitter. And I'm going to pick a board, so I'm going to scroll down until I find that website one, and I'm going to click on pin it. We'll go to see it now, and let's check that out. So you can see my pin. It pinned that one image from my website, and if somebody clicks on visit site, it's going to go to my website. So you could use this for self-promotion, for sharing your work, and so on, or you could use it like my friends Mike and Lawrence do to procure images and kind of get stuff together and put it into collections so that Later, if you're painting a dragon or something, you have all these pictures of lizards and dinosaurs that you can use for inspiration or for photo reference. So those are three really awesome free programs that you can use to help organize your thoughts and ideas and inspirations. And that's going to make it so much easier for you to work on things when you don't have to think about like 500 things all at the same time. Because for me, that's made a huge difference in my productivity. So I hope you found this information helpful. If you did, take a quick second to like this video and share it with your friends. And if you're new to my channel, you can click that subscribe button down below to get updates when I release new videos. And while you're at it, head on over to patreon.com and make a donation to help me continue making videos like this possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next Monday for another episode of my Digital Artist Vlog.